new day, new game on the channel. And today's game is something for the really specific audience. A lot of people believe that there is a lot of people on our channel who love military games, and especially World War One games. After the release of Battlefield 1, there was not many games that were giving you such, well, let's say, feeling. And there is overall not at all many games about World War One, where the World War Two is always the one that is main focus. If you played games like Verdun on Tannenberg, you will already be familiar with Black Familial games. That is unique FPS genre. It's a series more about the historical accuracy than bombastic fun, which is great of course, but often leaves its game in the feeling somewhat lacking of funs of mainstream shooters. Isonzo, which is our today's guest, is no different. Presenting a no frills war, that game sets an Italian from between 1915 and 1917. The Battle of Isonzo is during World War I is one of the most really well known. It's still an FPS bolt action rifle in the rules of the deaths and day that comes fast, but his Sonso is anything but the retarded at the same ground. Gone through the four man platoons of Verdun and Tannenberg, instead, the Sonzos deploy more controversial system. There are six classes in the game, and you unlock their upgrades by playing them rather than spending career points like before. So, before we dive deep, and look more closely at what Isonzo brings to us today, I would like to ask you if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do that. If you're already done that, then press notification bell and be ready to start. Taking control of either Italians or Austro-Hungarian forces, you'll engage in bloody trench warfare to take a territory and hold it against an enemy. As with other titles in the series, Isonzo takes war seriously. While it's perfectly possible to make and doing a run through the enemy fire and reach cover and sense or pop up behind a waist high wall and burst an opponent's head in my fire, you will be doing it very often and it won't feel like something in a Call of Duty let's say. When you do bullets act like bullets here mostly. The other thing I would like to say that the game really feels specific. This is a slow paced gameplay type of game. Bullet acts like bullets, they just fly and you're not gonna spray. Previously, in the game, the officers had an aura and artillery call that all determined by platoon type. Now every officer can order a charge, which gives an instant response for a short time, and direct the battle with orders. By the way, the one of the main maps of the Battle of Isonzo is the one that you could see in Battlefield 1 also. The big, big, big map. You would probably already kind of realize which one I'm talking about when you're looking at the gameplay on the screen. After the mark of the area, you get them up with the large flare gun, which looks really dramatic in action and is really disconnecting if you do not choose from. Artillery, cham and air are columns and stars and going to the sea as the recon of the many. We have three columns of not its only flare but more like artillery, chemical and air. You don't need to unlock a class or platoon either, they're just there, you only have to wait for ability to call down and pass. Luckily the better your team is doing the faster it passes, a lower level always unlocks and faster than hires, so you have to wait in the values of the patients versus the immediate to need to drop mortars on defense strong point, and the effects are kind of messy. With artillery baggages that can polarize entire squad and gas clouds that linger up to the 2 minutes. I love it, it's a great change and it's on one of those that really shines when playing Isonzo. With the human players. Unfortunately the beta period was mostly played with the bots, but since the release the game was full with a lot of players, and it's actually super popular right now on Steam. While Black Mill Games has taken the points to recreate battlefields, weaponry, uniforms and tactics, realism takes a hit in the other areas, there is no friendly fire for resistance, and the only one phase for the uniforms per class until you begin to level up, meaning you'll see large squads of identical soldiers trooping towards you. It's nice to hear soldiers speaking their native language, which adds more authenticity. And it can be difficult to appear touches like this when you're bleeding out of the sandbag wall. Likewise, the having a realistic gun can be something like a pace killer. Most of those classes are very similar, and do so the weapons. Playing as the marksman with the sniper rifle is a great choice of the change of the pace, and was the class that's really one of the most taken one. It's really hard to take the sniper one in here. Isonzo is a very niche title, to be honest, still as the Merdan going away from the classics of what the previous games were from Black Mill. The game is great, and I would really suggest you to try it at least, with your friends. I mean, you're just gonna go and play it maybe like more arcade squad type of game. It's somewhere in the middle between Call of Duty, Battle, I would say not even Call of Duty, Battlefield I would say, yeah, Battlefield, and Squad, and it's somewhere in the middle. 
can beat Orkadesh, but at the same time a bit more tactical, but at the same time it's super unique. So, a 10 out of 10 for the A Sunzo, because of how great and how well loved it made. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you next one.